ride that all day so I can figure out how that ride is so good. Well, we don't have enough tickets to do that, but we can call Ciara to find out how it works. Great idea. Hi, Ciara. Ita. Hi. We're at the coolest carnival, and we had a question I thought you could answer. Sounds like fun. Sure. I want to learn how this log ride works. Oh, yeah. I love log rides. They're so fun. I don't even mind getting wet. <laughs> okay, so let's follow a ride like that along. When the log cart is climbing up a hill, it has potential energy. The higher it climbs, the more potential energy it has. Potential energy is the work that has to be done to move an object because of its position or condition. Oh, so potential energy is its potential to move. You bet. And the more resistance, or the higher the cart goes, the more potential it has to fall further, the more potential energy it has. So there is more potential energy in the second drop than in the first. That's right. Now let's look at this second drop. It's another kind of energy. Kinetic. It's the energy of an object's ability to move. The energy of motion. And the more potential energy an object can have, the more kinetic energy it can have. The higher the leap, the harder the fall. Wow, awesome fall. That's right. That's what kinetic energy is. The rules of gravity take over and the object can really take off. The cart had to be pulled up the hill and it made that big splash in response. But what causes the response? Potential energy being pushed to a peak. So, does the cart have the most potential energy at the top of the hill? Yes, it has the most potential energy right before it becomes kinetic energy. Right before the drop, where the object has the ability to move. So, if the cart has the most potential energy at the top of the hill, when does it have the most kinetic energy? At the exact opposite place of where it has the most potential energy. At the bottom of the hill? Right when it's just riding off the push. The machine that makes the ride work pulled the cart uphill. Then, when it reached just over the peak, the potential energy was converted into kinetic energy, which is the energy of the force of gravity. It then responds to the amount of potential energy that was stored by the cart when it was pulled to the top. Potential versus kinetic is basically applied force versus the force of gravity. It's positioning things to move. So that's why the log ride works. Once the cart is pulled up to the top with applied force, it falls fast on its own. It moves. You got it. But is the energy at the top of the hill equal to the energy at the bottom? That's a good question, May. There are other forces that affect an object's ability to move, like friction and air resistance. Oh, I see. So... Potential energy can get you started, but there are other things that can stop the role that kinetic energy is on. Yeah, they're not usually equal. I think you're getting the idea. I think I get it. I think I get it too. Me three. Well, you know there's more than one fun thing to do at a carnival. Yeah! Why don't you figure out where the potential and kinetic energy lies in different park activities? Awesome idea! Will you help pick which part has the potential energy and which part has the kinetic energy in each activity? Click OK when you are asked to select the potential and kinetic energy in each activity. Click OK when you think the dart's energy is potential. All right! Now, click OK when you think the dart's energy is kinetic. Awesome! OK, let's figure out the bouncer. Click OK when you think the ride has potential energy. Way to go! All right, now click OK when you think the ride has kinetic energy. Sweet! Let's see how hard we can hit the scale with this hammer. 
The higher it's hit, the higher the lights will go. Ready? Click OK when this activity has potential energy. Cool! Click OK when this activity has kinetic energy. Right on! On to the targets. Let's get a bullseye. Click OK when the arrow has potential energy. Bullseye! All right. Now click OK when the arrow has kinetic energy. Nice shot. This park is so much fun. I know, I've had a blast. Hey, do they have a roller coaster? I love a good roller coaster. Well, as long as I ride one on an empty stomach. Oh, great idea, Ciara. The roller coaster. Let's do it. All right. Okay. How about you use your brain power to figure out how to power a roller coaster? At which part of this hill would the roller coaster have more potential energy? Click on A or B. At which point does the roller coaster have more kinetic energy? C or D? At which point does the roller coaster have the most kinetic energy? A or B? Where does the roller coaster have more potential energy? At point C or D? Where does the roller coaster have the most potential energy? A or B? Where does the roller coaster have more kinetic energy? C or D? Now for the final twist. At which part of this hill would the roller coaster have more potential energy? Click on A, B, or C. Okay, now tell me. At which part does the roller coaster have more kinetic energy? A, B, or C? Of the last two loops, which one has more potential energy? Click A or B. Definitely. Hey, now we just have to go on all the rides so we can figure out which one has the most kinetic energy. Then we'll really know which one's the best. Well, Ash, we could potentially do that. But first, it looks like Pikachu needs a rest after that last hill. Pika! Potential energy is all about the wind-up. Try again. <coughs> Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Where's the dart fulfilling its potential to really move? Try again. Potential energy moves an object to a point where gravity will take over the moving. Try again. Kinetic energy is when gravity takes over and pulls the object into motion. Try again. Potential energy is building up as much force as possible so the object can eventually move with kinetic energy. Get back into the swing of things and try again. Kinetic energy is when force causes the object to move in reaction to its potential. Try again. Potential energy is about pulling the object till it's ready to go. 
Try again. <coughs> Kinetic energy is when an object is just flying on stored up force. Try again. Thank <laughs> you.